Okay. Rachel, your view of what went down here. Look, I'm trying not to go on national television and <sighs> condone violence, but I got to yeah. say, I loved it. I loved all of it. I mean, the, we saw that grit, that fire. We and did. And that's, you know, one of the joys of watching sports is you get to see that intense competitiveness, that dirt under your fingernails type stuff. And it took a long time mm. for women to convince society that they deserve to get to have all those feelings too, and we're still trying to convince a segment of society that women's sports, women's basketball, it's not just la-di-da, girls, you know, skipping up and down the court and taking long jumpers. This is a real competition with real stakes. And that is what you saw, that passion, that fire. And for me, it was a joy to see. And, you know, a couple, couple people got their feelings bent out of shape. Mm, and did. as Angel says, we'll, we'll see what happens next time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm glad there wasn't no real blows being thrown. I don't, I don't mind the pushing and the shoving. She I mean, got that, shoved down. Yeah, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and yeah, Kim Kim Mulkey, the coach of LSU, is is right though. You aggressively picking on a smaller player mm -hmm. that you know part foul. of the six seven. She's six. Yeah, it's, seven. It's, it's huge yeah. though, and that you know, huge. and pushing down, pushing her down. Glad nobody got seriously hurt. But South that's Carolina, right. the Gamecocks, that's Don Staley, right? That's Coach Staley. She, that's just who she is. Yeah, it's like, and I'm a real. USC Trojan, but that's like my girl's team in South Carolina because I know Don pretty well, and it's so you, still USC, right? Yeah, but it ain't. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the same. Yeah. It's a different. It's a different one, Skip. But I'm, I'm all with it, man. That's I'm with you, Rachel. You, you get an opportunity to see the grit, the grind. It just ain't all like you said. Looking pretty, mm -hmm. shooting jumpers. Mm -hmm. They actually are in the mix. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just glad no blows were thrown and nobody got hurt. Yeah. Okay. I want to point out that was the 16th straight win by South Carolina over LSU. Yep. 16 in a row, including all four since Kim Mulkey took we over at not LSU. Scared of them, huh? hey, hey, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and I did love what Don Staley, the best coach in women's basketball, said after the game, and I'm going to quote it that would have never happened with last year's team because they would have been so political about it. Aliyah, who's Boston, who was the yeah. WNBA Rookie of the Year. She was with South Carolina last year, probably would have been the referee and been like, no, don't do that. <laughs> and then you've got this team, they're protectors. So the six, seven girl says, no, no, I'm sorry. And Cardoso is going to be a high pick in the WNBA yes. draft. And she went and protected and enforced. And I've, I've never used enforced in the context of women's, women's basketball, basketball, but that's what happened. Yes. Yes. Okay. I hope it doesn't derail them from, you know, winning the championship because players will be ejected and whatnot. No. I suspended. mean, to the, 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 point, they're playing a 16 they're, they're playing seed a 16 in the first seed. round. Don't and by the way, the other five who got ejected were because they were bench players who left the bench, and you cannot, in yes. men's or women's basketball, you cannot leave the bench or you're going to be gone for a game. Yeah. So I like that rule because then you don't escalate what's happening. What did scare me, um, that that Flo J. Johnson's brother went over the scores table and you oh, can see him that. get in the mix. He, mm. he get in, get, gets in the mix and the security got to him because he was going after Cardoso to protect his sister. And it's a little, I don't know if you can see it here, but he mm. jumps right into the area. Yeah, and jumped right I in the actually thought that was security. Yeah, no. I thought so too. Yeah, no, no. see they're taking him off. Skip, okay, right. so for me, that is dangerous. Yeah, that's not okay. That, that's that, a different thing. Okay. But, they yeah, that's not okay. That they said he was not... Chill, bro. Yeah, he was not arrested because he was curtailed quickly. The yeah. security was all over it. And they handled it great. I mean, everybody got broken up fairly well, the whole quickly. time, I thought... I, actually, I thought that was security there because he had them all black. Yeah. And then the, the, the actual security behind him, the police officer behind him jumped over. He had them all black, so I didn't even really see yeah. him pull him off till just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, and, and look, uh, Kim Mulkey did make one good point. Ooh. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, Kim Mulkey brought up another point after in that post-game press conference that there were, you know, a couple shooting fouls, that sort of thing. But in terms of in the game, sort of those fouls that referees use to calm things down, mm. there are only two of those in the entire fourth quarter. Mm. And so those kinds of fouls, those kinds of calls is how officials say, mm. uh-uh, uh-uh, let's, let's take a step back here. 
that sort of thing. And and her Kim's point was that just didn't really happen in this yeah. game. And that's what leads to this kind of escalate, escalation. So the, the, my biggest takeaway from their tournament was South Carolina actually struggled in its first game against Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. And then Cardoso, who's never made a three like, in college, banks one in at the buzzer to beat Tennessee, or they would have lost to Tennessee. But they're a lot. And it looked to me like they were just pointing toward, we want LSU. Yeah. And they beat them fairly handily again. So here we go. Very interesting. Okay, up next, Michael Gallup on his way out for my Cowboys in Dallas. We debate next. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.